Well, good evening to all of our brothers and sisters, wherever you might be, at the Masonic Homes in Covina or Union City, to our MOS clients, to our MCYF clients, and to all of our staff, wherever you might be this evening. Usually I, I like to start with, well, today is Happy Wednesday. But I'm not so sure that today is the happiest of Wednesdays. You know, I sat here today and I, I was wondering, what has our world come to? It's COVID and protests and riots and unrest. You know, we are facing some really complex issues and these are trying times for all of us. And I do mean all of us, not only for our residents, but our, our staff team members and our families. These are the times that I think we are all going to remember for the rest of our lives. But we at the Masonic Homes are going to remain committed to the safety of our residents and staff and their families now more than ever. You know, we are going to get through this. We are going to persevere and we will show the world how the principles of brotherly love, relief and truth gave us the courage to go on and thrive. Well, I do have the good news, of course, and that is that MHC is still COVID-free. All of the test results are now back for all of our residents and staff, and every one of them is negative, and that is great news. Starting in a few weeks, all residents and staff in Lorber are going to be tested, and that includes all of our residents, and the staff will be retested every week. I am concerned though, and I, I'm gonna express it today, that as I look at all of the news reports, I see so many people who are not wearing masks. So many people that are being exposed that are not practicing safe distance guidelines. And I do believe that we're gonna see some second wave spread happening. And that may be more deadly than the first wave. So we need to continue to make sure that we are practicing safety, that we are looking out for our residents. Now, I will have another bit of good news for you today, and that is that we are beginning face-to-face -face visits. So for your family and your friends uh, on our residential campuses, visiting is going to be allowed. Now it's gonna be a 30 minute visit and I'm afraid that no one under 16, the age of 16 is gonna be allowed, but we're still gonna have wonderful outdoor visits. Uh, starting this week in Covina, next week in Union City, and you'll be able to sign up for a 30 minute visit. I've also been asked for um, an update on construction. So let me tell you, we are either on schedule or ahead with all of the projects. I understand the plants have been delivered up in Union City and that uh, uh, the patios are getting completed. And someone asked specifically about what's happening with pad B. Well, I can tell you that they are working on the foundation right now and you should see some of the wood, some of that framing starting to go up in the next couple of weeks. Now, the big question always is, well, what is happening with our skilled nursing in Covina? And uh, as you can see, it's not finished yet. It's still being worked on. And I don't have a final date on when we're gonna be moving in, but I will tell you that work does continue, but it's, it's slow, absolutely slow. All right, so what else is going on? Well, you see that I'm not wearing my usual dress shirt today, although I am here in my office in, in Hayward at my home. But I am wearing, and I will pause to just show you, that it is the staycation shirt. Yes, the staycation shirt that we made when we did the uh, Summerfest down in Covina. Now, why do I have this shirt on and why am I saying staycation? Because I'm tired uh, believing that I'm just sheltering in place or I'm safe at home. So I'm gonna think from now on that I am on a staycation. So I'm staying at home and I'm on sort of vacation because I'm working every day. But it's still, for me, uh, at uh, five o'clock sometime, I can go make myself a nice cold margarita. 
a bowl of chips and salsa, and I can just think that I'm on vacation. You know, tonight, I'm even going to watch one of those Bob Hope movies. Remember the road trip? Yep, there you go. For those of you who are uh, living on the campuses in Covina and in Union City, you probably know what I mean. But for all of our staff out there, they probably have no idea. So maybe we'll have to educate them. So let's all start our vacations, staycations, and break out the margaritas, and let's watch some vacation videos. And let's all remember the good times because they are going to be back soon enough. So remember, you just need to be patient. Change is coming around the corner. It's not here now, but not now for any risk, okay? So now is not the time to, to engage in any risky behavior. We need to stay strong. Okay, that's all I've got for today. So remember to stay, stop, and save. Stay home, stop the spread, and let's save some lives, okay? So God bless to you and your families, and, and thank you. Thank you for all you're doing to keep our campuses, our residents, our clients safe. Thank you.